So let's just work on a Facebook as the next one. We need to enable it and then we need to go and get the app ID and the app secret. If you go to developers.facebook.com and then log into your account, you can see menu here, my app. If you click there, there will be a add new app. So let's just click there quickly. We need to give it a name. Best blog by Next.js and then create the app ID. So we need to wait while it's creating our app. And then inside here, we need to go to our dashboard. Now we have the app ID on top, as you can see. So we can quickly copy it, come here, paste it, and then we need the app secret. So let's find the app secret. I'm going to close this one. And in a setting, basic. So basically, give us a secret. So we need to press show and then copy, come back here, paste it. So we just paste the new one. And then we need to, to complete setup, we need to add this link to our URL. So I'm going to copy it, go back there, dashboard one more time. So we can get app ID also there. Then we will see a Facebook login here. So I need to click on a Facebook login. We need to set up. So I'm going to click set up. And then, yes, we're going to use it for web. Okay, we need just to put something dummy. So we can just paste this one here. It doesn't matter in this stage what is our site URL. So we're going to press next, 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 back, and now we should be able to see in a product, we should be able to have Facebook login. If we go to setting, we should come back here, copy this link. So copy it. And then we need to pass it inside here. And from here, we need to make sure embedded browser OAuth login should be on or yes. So we paste the URL, we make this one yes, save change and now we can come back and then press save here and now we can go and test it so we are in a facebook i'm going to close login with the facebook there we go it's trying to say if you can log in yes if you press continue as moho it will log in let's see there we go, we have logged in and we can see the user. So let's work on Twitter now. So in browser, just type apps.twitter.com and you will come to this page. From there, create an app. And then in the app URL, again, it doesn't matter. So from here, we need to choose this one and then callback URL. So we, we need to go there. And then, so we're done with this one anyway. So we are going to click here, copy, paste it. That's so funny, we need to write 100. So we will press create. Yes, 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 create it. And from there, we are going to have keys and token. So let's just come here. We have the API key and we have the secret. So that's what we need, API key and API secret. And so let's quickly go there. This is our secret. I'm going to enable this one, paste it, and also API key. Make sure you don't put these things, uh, this API key and secret on a GitHub. So because they're very important, they are specific to your app. I'm going to press save. And let's quickly check the Twitter now together. I'm going to refresh and try to log in with Twitter.
I think we didn't need this one. So I'm going to save it. Now we can check. Yes, now it is working. And if I press authorize, it will let me to log in. There we go. We have the user again. And the next thing is to work with the GitHub. So for the GitHub, you need to go to this address, github.com, settings, applications, new. Obviously, you need to be logged in and or signed in, and you need to put just these applications. There's blog. And then authorization callback. Again, we need to come back. We need to come here, copy this one. I'm going to enable this one anyway. So paste it, register. And then you give us client ID and client secret. So copy the client ID here and the secret. Save. So now we can test it. From here, log in with the GitHub. We can log in, yes, authorize. So because I'm using the same email address, it doesn't let me to log in, but it is working. So if I change my email address, it should be all right. So as you can see, it is saying an account already exists with the same email address because with my Google and with my GitHub are the same. So if I just quickly go here, go to users and delete my Google, just as you can see, we can delete it. So I'm going to delete the account. And then, so we don't need this one, we don't need this one. We come back here, log in with the GitHub. There we go, we logged in. So we can log in. Uh, and then from here, we need to work on the nav bar and the sign out, which we're going to do it in the next video.